Mercury Insurance. We're on a mission to save you money. Get a quote today at mercuryinsurance.com. Absolutely gorgeous afternoon in New Hampshire. And we were listening in just moments ago to the 88s. Now driven by Alex Bowman. This is what they had to say. And then Alex Bowman went and made another run, and he said that there was some improvement from that last report. Well, before this practice started, I actually spoke with Greg Ives, the crew chief, who first said, you know, obviously this is not an ideal situation, but he used the word honorable, said it was honorable that Dale Jr. stepped up, addressed the situation for the long term. He said, I just hope he's getting the care and treatment that he needs. Now, with having Alex in the car, I asked him, if they had to make any interior changes, he said just minor tweaks. They moved the steering wheel by an inch, removed a piece of foam from the head, uh, headrest, and put some grip tape on the throttle pedal. But he had said if Dale had been here to start the race, they wouldn't have had to make any changes. The seat, the bells, everything fit just fine. And then I asked Greg if he'll do anything differently with this driver. He said, no, not really. I worked with three different drivers in three years on the Xfinity side, so I'm used to it. The only thing I might do is just assume that he doesn't know something rather than assuming that he does. That way, we won't overlook anything or miss anything. I just expect some honest feedback from Alex, and then we can go back and use the EFI data system to help uh, watch his uh, uh, throttle traces and get other information. One other thing to keep in mind, as this practice started, the spotter came over and said to Alex, hey, I know you're not used to looking down to see your lap times, so if you want me to call them out, let me know. Alex said, yeah, please do. Remember, this digital dash new this year, Alex has only run a handful of races in the Xfinity side where they don't use it. So just little adjustments to getting uh, accustomed to this cup car. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many details that go into one of the car, but the scene that Alex is talking about is that you enter these corners, you know, there's multiple grooves. It's a very flat racetrack, but the groove's kind of in the middle between those two dotted lines. But you look to the right side, that second dotted line, there's a paving seam there, DJ, that's opened up over time, and it's, it might not look that bad right here, but as a race car driver, you need to try to stay below it. If you can get your right rear or your right front on that line, you kind of get caught on it. So the goal would be that you go down in the corner, and you want to, this seam right here is the concern, because that seam is, you want to run just below it. You don't want to be above or on that right side. Yeah, it's a great guideline as to what you want to do, but obviously there are going to be times that you get in there a little too hard or your car's not handling exactly right, and you're going to have to cross that at some time. Uh, and the, the goal is, is to make that if you will, as seamless as possible in going across that. And if you can do it earlier in the corner than later, then you're going to be better off and you'll be able to make your car do more of what you want. But one thing that struck me, he talked about his car was very comfortable entering the corner. That's generally going to make you have a tight race car in the center and probably on the exit. So you, you have to almost make the car to get speed around here a little bit on the uncomfortable side getting in to where you can manage that. But that's going to allow your car to turn where you can accelerate in a much position on the exit of the corner to make speed. Yeah, Rick, what makes this play so difficult is the decision you make way up on the straightaway, you don't realize that it was early enough out of the gas or too late until you get all the way down to the middle of the corner. The guys who have figured it out the best, the top speeds, Denny Hamlin now moves to the top of the chart.